animal life cycles. These puppies are so cute. And so tiny. I know. It's hard to believe they're going to grow up to look like their parents. Really? Yes. All baby animals grow up to look like their parents. It's part of their life cycle. What's a life cycle? Well, all animals have four different parts of life. Each part is called a stage. They are born. They grow and change and become an adult animal. They have babies of their own. And later, their life ends. Together, these stages of an animal's life are called the life cycle. Why is it called a cycle? In a cycle, things happen over and over again. Puppies grow up into adult dogs. Then they can have puppies of their own who will grow up and have puppies of their own. You see? It can happen over and over again. And that's how we know these puppies will always grow up to look like their parents. Right. All young animals grow up to look a lot like their parents. A puppy will always grow up to be a dog. It will never grow up to be a cat. But why do some of these puppies look different from each other? Animals that have the same parents can be both alike and different. But as they get bigger, you'll see they all grow up to be adult dogs. Did you know that some animals start life looking one way and then go through changes that make them look another way as adults? No. It's true. For example... A frog? That's right. Frogs are amphibians. They spend part of their lives in water and part on land. Frogs lay their eggs in a pond. The eggs have a soft shell. They must be kept wet so that they don't dry out. Then the eggs hatch into tadpoles. The tadpoles are baby frogs. Tadpoles don't look anything like frogs. That's true. Tadpoles live only in the water. A tadpole has a tail and no legs. They swim like fish and breathe with gills. It eats plants from the water. As the tadpole grows, it starts to change. It grows legs, loses its tail, and loses its gills. Now, the tadpole looks like a very small frog. It can leap onto land or swim in the water. The frog breathes with lungs instead of gills. And it eats bugs instead of plants. Soon, the small frog grows into an adult frog. It can lay eggs now, eggs that will hatch into new tadpoles. Hey, that's the full life cycle. It sure is. Do puppies hatch from eggs? No, dogs and puppies are mammals, not amphibians. A mammal is an animal that has hair or fur and is born alive, not hatched out of an egg. Mammals also get milk from their mothers when they are young. Baby mammals usually need more help from their parents than animals that are hatched out of eggs. The mother dog cares for her puppies by giving them milk, keeping them warm, and keeping them clean by licking their fur. Guess who else is a mammal? You! Me? That's right! People are mammals! And just like these puppies, babies are born alive. They need a lot of care from their parents. Babies must be fed, kept warm and dry, and cleaned by their parents. And just like other animals, people have a life cycle. A baby is born and will soon grow. He will learn to do many things for himself. He will go through many changes until he's an adult. 
Then he may have a family of his own. Wow! Mammals are born alive, but I know another kind of animal that hatches from eggs. You do? Birds! Of course. Female chickens, called hens, lay their eggs in a nest. Then they sit on the eggs to keep them warm until the baby birds inside are ready to hatch. One baby chick grows inside each egg for about 21 days. The chick is wet when it first comes out of the egg. It uses a special tooth on its beak, called an egg tooth, to break through the eggshell. But it soon dries out and begins to look for food. The baby bird gets bigger, grows new adult feathers, and starts to look more like its parents. When the chicken is full grown, it can lay eggs that may hatch into new baby chicks. What happens to a hen after it has its baby chicks? Well, the hen will get older and eventually die. It's part of the life cycle. I know another animal that's hatched from an egg. Turtles! Right! Turtles are covered with scales and rough, dry skin. They are a type of reptile. Some other kinds of reptiles are snakes and lizards. Most reptiles are hatched from eggs, just like birds. Turtles lay their eggs in a hole that the female digs in the ground. Then she covers them with sand or dirt. Some turtles lay just a few eggs and others lay hundreds at a time. Usually the female turtle leaves her eggs and never comes back. Soon the baby turtles hatch and dig their way out of the ground. The baby turtles grow very quickly for the first few years. Then they are adults and the female turtles can lay eggs of their own. Did you know that some turtles can live to be over 100 years old? Wow, that's older than my grandpa. I know another animal that hatches from eggs. Fish! That's right. A newly hatched fish is called a larva or fry. These baby fish swim, live in the water, breathe from gills, and have fins and a tail, just like adult fish. The baby fish already look like their parents, just a lot smaller. They will grow and eventually the females will lay eggs of their own. What's the difference between fish eggs and bird eggs? I know, fish eggs are soft and found in water. Bird eggs are hard and laid in a nest. But both kinds of eggs hold growing animals inside. Cool! Do bugs have a life cycle? All living things have a life cycle. Milkweed bugs are an insect that have a special way of growing and changing called metamorphosis. What's that? Let's find out. A female milkweed bug lays as many as 120 eggs at a time. Weeks later, the eggs hatch. The newborn milkweed bug looks like an adult milkweed bug except that they are very small and have no wings. At this stage in the life cycle, the baby milkweed bug is called a nymph. Over the next few weeks, the nymph will shed its skin many times. We call this molting. Each time the milkweed bug molts, it will get a little bigger. Finally, after the last time it molts, the milkweed bug will have wings and be an adult. That's called simple metamorphosis. Here's a diagram showing the three stages of the milkweed bug's life. Egg, nymph, adult. Right. Now we know about simple metamorphosis. But there is another kind of metamorphosis called complete metamorphosis. How is that different? Complete metamorphosis has four stages instead of three, like the milkweed bug. Let's look at the life cycle of the painted lady butterfly. First, the female lays eggs on a leaf. Then, a caterpillar hatches from the egg. The caterpillar is called the larva. The larva eats a lot and grows very quickly. 
until it attaches to a stick and makes a covering called a chrysalis. Once the larva is inside the chrysalis, we call it a pupa. Now inside the chrysalis, the pupa is starting to change. Soon, the chrysalis opens and an adult butterfly comes out. And that is an example of complete metamorphosis. There are four stages in complete metamorphosis instead of three. A. Larva. Pupa. Adult. That's right. Remember, in complete metamorphosis, the larva and pupa look very different from the adult. Now, let's look at some pictures of different animals' life cycles. Okay, we'll start with dogs. And what is special about a dog's life cycle? Dogs are mammals. They are born alive and get their milk from their mothers. That's right. Frogs. And why are frogs so special? Frogs are a kind of amphibian. Their babies are called tadpoles. The tadpoles grow and change into adult frogs. Very good. Birds. Now, what did we learn about birds? Birds hatch from eggs. Baby birds have different feathers than adults. Right. Turtles. What do you know about turtles? Turtles are reptiles. They are hatched from eggs just like birds. Correct. Fish. Most fish are hatched from soft eggs that are laid in the water. Right. Milkweed bugs. Milkweed bugs go through simple metamorphosis. The parts of their life cycle are egg, nymph, and adult. And butterflies. Now what do you know about butterflies? Butterflies go through complete metamorphosis. That's right. The parts of their life cycle are egg, larva, pupa, and adult. We sure learned a lot today. Yes, we did. Remember, everywhere you go, everywhere you look, all animals have a life cycle. All animals are born, grow, and change, have babies of their own, and later die. Just like these animals we have learned about today. For more great videos, <coughs> call 1-800-483-3383 for 100% educational videos. Or visit us online at schoolvideos.com.